Seth, just what was your approach going into that at bat, and did you have any nerves? Uh, I think the biggest thing uh, for me is, oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't tell you, like, of course I was nervous. And versus trying to, like, go, oh, man, I got to, I got to, you know, fight this and get away with it. I said, no, I, I'm, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let myself, you know, understand that, you know, you can be nervous in these situations. And, you know, this is a big one, obviously. So I just kind of was accepting of it. Uh, when I was on deck, I kind of just let all the waves of emotions just kind of hit me at once. And I said, you know, I'm going to let this happen for like, you know, five, 10 seconds. And then it's over and now I got a job to do. And uh, and that's kind of what I went went into. And when I was walking to the plate, I just I tried my best to just clear my head, not think about anything, but just, um, you know, the pitch at hand. And, uh, you know, throughout the at bat, like, um, you know, I really was just just trying to go up there and honestly just hit the ball and uh, just try to hit some, do some for some damage and uh, just barrel it up and, you uh, um, I, you know, I wasn't afraid to fail. I felt like in that situation, I was just up there and just competing to the best of my ability. And uh, I got a pitch I could handle. And, you know, thankfully, you know, I put a good swing on it. So, yeah. so that worked. You were able to, I mean, I feel like you tell yourself not to let the emotions overwhelm you or, or tell yourself you're going to do it right now. It's hard to like snap yourself back into the right mental frame of mind, you know? Yeah. You know, but I, for me personally, I, I've done it so many different ways or tried to, uh, you know, any, anytime you like debut and, you know, another level or anything like that, you know, you're going to have a kind of a, a rush of nerves, uh, nothing like, uh, what I was feeling going into that bat. Um, but, uh, and you just kind of have to, you know, for me personally, I just had to kind of understand it's like, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be nervous, but you know, I'm going to go out there and, and give it everything I got. And, uh, if that's not enough, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be able to sleep at night. Uh, just knowing, you know, it's it's your first at bat in the big leagues. And uh, I was just going up there, just trying to compete and put myself in the best situation to, you know, have success. Um, and and for me, I, I've watched that guy pitch on TV so many times. And, uh, you know, I kind of understood what he had. And, I, and uh, I saw him on the bullpen camera warming up. And I was like, you know, I might get a chance off this guy, um, him being a right-handed pitcher. And uh, so, you know, I was watching every pitch he threw in the, in, you know, in the bullpen on, on, the, uh, on the screen. And I was just uh, – just uh, kind of going through things, uh, you know, how he might throw me. And uh, I knew his ball had a lot of sink on it and he throws for, you know, some pretty good velocity. So, uh, you know, I was just trying to get ready early in that situation and just see it and just uh, try to put the barrel on the ball. Okay, did you have another question? Uh, yeah, I, I was curious, who did you end up having uh, in, in town to, to kind of share this moment with? Did, did your family end up making it out? Uh, yeah, so my my mom, my dad, my sister were here, my girlfriend, and then uh, all of her side of the family were here. So I had a pretty big crowd out there. And uh, as I round third base, I look up to them, and, and that place is just chaos up there. And uh, and uh, I, to me personally, it, it just it it was it was just incredible. Like I, I couldn't, I can't even still put it into words. Like um, it's almost just a blur. Um, but. Um, to look up there and see, you know, all the people that, you know, have helped me get to this point, my mom and my dad, and I could see my dad tearing up and my mom crying and, uh, you know, they've sacrificed so much for me to get here, you know, my sister as well. And, uh, you know, sitting through so many baseball tournaments, like when I was growing up, you know, having to spend her weekend watching little kids play baseball, um, can't be so fun, you know, and they've all just sacrificed so much. Um, so to be able to share a moment like this with them is just so special. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of got the longest possible trip from home to come see, right? Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, I remember when I when I called him, I said, you know, I know this is a tough one, and my dad was just like, "We'll be there. We're gonna be there. All of us will be there." And uh, you know, obviously that that support kind of just kind of um, comes into you know where it is is you know like you know they they made my dreams reality through and through. And uh, you know, like I, I told you earlier, you know, I couldn't do them. Yeah, I do what I do without without, you know, what they do for me. So and uh, um, so to be able to share something like that and them to see it firsthand and wait through that that game uh, for my opportunity and and uh, finally get it, you know, it was just so special. And I'm just so happy that, that I get to share that with them. Daniel. Uh, do you have any plans on what you're going to do with the ball? Uh, so actually, so they got the bat authenticated and, and the ball, um, and all that stuff. So I, I gave it to my dad for right now. I, I know he'll keep it safe. Um, 
And uh, a, a kid who actually got the scorecard from the game, um, I traded him a pair of batting gloves for it. Um, he wanted to just give it to me, but I, but I gave him a, a pair of batting gloves and, um, and uh, I, I uh, signed that and I gave it to my dad and he's going to put it in his office um, just because, you know, that's such, such a special moment. And uh, so just to have that is pretty cool. And then uh, I know earlier when we talked to you, you know, so you said felt, you know, kind of like a dream. Has it started to feel real or any way set in? <sighs> yeah, you know, I uh, I kind of went from one dream to another dream. You know, of course, every kid, you know, when they think about, you know, coming up in the big leagues and uh, getting a chance to hit, you know, your first thought is, oh, man, I'd love to, you know, if you had a homer, that'd be pretty cool. You know, that's like the best thing you could possibly do. So I kind of moved from that dream to kind of one I'm just floating on cloud nine right now. And I, I just, um, it's just so special. I, I, you know, I'm probably going to go home and, and lay down and, and, you know, decompress a little bit and then it'll probably all hit me at once. And, and it's just um, right now though, it's, it's like, I'm, I'm still just, just, just living the dream. And uh, something that I've, I've looked forward to since I was, you know, seven years old and watching guys play in the big leagues. I was, you know, I want to do that someday. And right now um, I'm, I'm in those shoes. And um, for me, I'm just trying to take it one step at a time and just continue to go out there and do play the game to the best of my abilities. Back to you, Zach. Seth, I know you're starting tomorrow at DH. Um, th does having tonight, that moment tonight, kind of make the – I don't know if you were expecting any kind of, and maybe not anxiety, but anticipation of like your first MLB start um, and like kind of dealing with that. Does it make it a little easier just kind of having this moment now that tomorrow it's just baseball? Yeah, you know, 100%. Uh, tomorrow I can wake up and, and I can go through a normal routine knowing that, you know, I'm, I'm in the lineup and I can go through the exact things I got I to gotta do um, to get ready to play. And knowing that I have that is is um, kind of just kind of gets back to the day to day grind that I have throughout the year, and uh, just knowing that uh, I got to get ready to play and I got to get ready to start. So that's that's something I, I look at, and uh, it kind of takes a little bit of ease off, um, knowing that uh, you know I, I, you know I'm gonna you know get get at bats and and I know exactly where I'm at, and you know to just go out there and you know play, you know because that that's what I do is is just you know I'm I'm, I'm playing the game and knowing that you're in there. Um, there's no uncertainty and uh, just I go out there and play and just, you know, give it all I got. Let's do one last one with Evan, please. Um, Seth, uh, is the information I have correct that your family was coming up from Georgia? Yeah, that's okay. great. How much warning did they have to get a flight and get up there? Uh, Wednesday, I called them. It had been Wednesday, my time. Like I was in uh, Nevada. It was around 5, 530. So, you know, with the hour change and stuff. So it was pretty, it was pretty last minute. Thankfully the, the, the day off gap kind of helped obviously. So they kind of got to plan a little bit more advanced, but you know, it is across the country. So they had to make some quick plans and, uh, and uh, you know, it was kind of funny because um, Reno is playing in Las Vegas. So they were planning on coming out there my girlfriend as well. Um, so I was like, Hey, <laughs> change of plans. I hope you didn't book any flights yet. Um, you know, uh, you need to reroute to Seattle here because uh, um, you know, I'm getting called up. So, um, yeah, so they, I wouldn't say crazy last minute. I've, I've had some even closer calls, you know, coming up. Um, but, uh, you know, definitely still, you know, across the country trip, you know, and you got, you know, day to prepare. Um, they really had to turn some things around there. Um, so I'm just super grateful that they were there.